Hey guys, welcome to the sixth video of my series on introduction to pandas. And in this video, I'm going to show how you can plot the columns and the data frames um, in a very simple way. So first of all, um, we are going to use the bikes data set. So as you might remember from the second video that the bikes data set is about the number of cycles that pass through a particular bike lane on a particular day in the year 2012. So this is the data that is bikes.csv all about. So now um, if you don't know what all these arguments are doing here, you might again be interested in looking at the second video to understand what are the different arguments that I have passed here so that I can read the CSV file in a correct manner. So now we are not going to dive into that. We are going to just see how to plot the columns. So let us see df.head first. So this is our df.head in which we have got a lot of columns. And um, let's say, let's take this particular column, which is called Berry1. So Berry1 is a particular cycling lane in Montreal. And on 1st January 2012, 35 people, um, 35 cycles passed through this lane on another day it was 83 135 144 197 and so on so this is the stats of the number of cycles that were passing through berry one all over the year so if i want to have that stat only i can have df berry one right so i get this particular data set so now one thing to note here is that um if i want to plot this particular data set then how can i do that right so in order to do that all you have to do is you have to use the plot function of a series so as you might remember that this particular thing, when you want to refer to any particular column of your data frame, the data structure in which you get that data is a panda series, a series in which we have some values and we have its corresponding index. And right now the date is the index of my data frame. That's why you are seeing the date here. So now df very one dot plot. Let us see what happens. Okay. So I will have to do modulo matplotlib inline so that Jupyter Notebook shows my plots right here. So look at that. Um, we are getting a quite nice plot here without uh, writing any line of code of matplotlib because pandas has integrated matplotlib into itself and that's why when I say that I want to plot a particular column then I am getting this nice plot. Now one thing to notice here is that if you look at the x-axis it is looking quite pretty because pandas has understood um, that the index is a datetime object that's why it is capable of presenting you that datetime information in a very nice manner. So this way we have plotted our, uh, our column and we are getting some information from this visually which is during January, February or up to March even a uh, very less number of people are interested in cycling through Berry 1 but as um, we go through the middle months of the year the number of cyclists uh, the number of people who go pass through that lane increases right so this is some information that we are getting so maybe this is because of the winters or any kind of thing like that so yeah so this this way we have plotted a nice um, uh, we have plotted this nicely by using the plot function of our series now um, one more thing if you want to plot a complete data frame then we do need to understand one thing um, that what are we gonna plot so in this particular case in the bytes.csv case if i say that df.plot then what will happen is that pandas will look into each column of your data set and if it will find that there is this data set which contains only numerical values then it will plot it and each column will be represented by a different color so let us see what happens here. Okay, so let me make it a big, bit bigger. You can make it a bit bigger by doing fixed size equal to, let's say, 10 comma 8. Let's see. Yeah, so this looks better. So look at that. Um, all the column names are here and the line color which is used to represent them is shown here. So this is a legend which got created automatically. And as you can see here, um, that Masonave is one of the most busiest um, cycling links in Montreal, right? And this color, which is Pierre Duc, Pierre Duc is one of the least busy um, cycling lanes in Montreal. So this is kind of information that we are getting. And this particular peak that we are getting here is um, for sure um, any kind of uh, wrong value in our data set, as we can see from here. So yeah, visually, a lot of information can be 
um, taken out from any kind of data and that is what we are getting here. So I hope uh, the concept of plotting data frames or even a single column of your data frame is clear now and if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below. That's it from this video. Thanks for watching.